All right, let's continue the rankings here, Barry. We will go 50 to 100 All today. Right. This yep. is a, a big uh, a big amount of rankings we have to get through. So 51 through 60, we're going to do a quarterback here at the top with Justin Herbert leading the pack, followed by DJ Moore, Damian Pierce, Marquise Brown, George Kittle, Justin Fields at 56, definitely a bit of a fantasy darling with the rushing this year, Drake London, Deontay Johnson, James Conner, and Christian Watson. Who is the, the notable player in this group of 10 here, Barry, that can kind of go a couple ways? I think there's a couple. I mean, first off, I just think, like, again, like, you know, guys like Pierce and Connor, like, if you if you go wide receiver early, you go Kelsey in the first round. I just – I think both Pierce and Connor are being undraft, uh, underdrafted because they're on bad teams, but they're still going to get a tremendous amount of volume. I think both are talented uh, players. I Everyone's freaked out about Colt McCoy, but Marquise Brown's numbers with Colt McCoy under center in terms of – uh, or in terms of Mar Marquise Brown's numbers, I should say, I should clarify that. Marquise Brown's numbers without DeAndre Hopkins, just massive, massive target share. Uh, but I think the guy that's really interesting here for fantasy, not that I love him, but I think Deontay Johnson is just, you know, sort of really interesting, right? So last year, career lows in yards per target, catch rate, you know, we talked about the touchdowns, you know. Um, but last year, last year, he was top six in end zone targets and still went 147 targets without a touchdown. It's an NFL record. <laughs> it's my favorite like, set of the year. I, I, right. Regression to the mean, you know, guy should have double-digit touchdowns. We it's think he's a very do. talented wide receiver. 27% target share. You just heard me talking up Kenny Pickett. I do think that offense takes another step here. So, Deontay Johnson, who I don't love, but this is a guy that was going as a top-20 wide receiver two years ago. Like, I mean, he was going like an, as wide receiver like 14, and now, like, he comes in at 56 overall, I, and that's about where he's going. Like, the upside on Deontay Johnson is just too great to ignore him when you get into this range. Yeah, I think I was laughed off the set by Michael Smith when I said that Deontay Johnson is one of the 20 most talented wide receivers in football. I stand by that. I think yeah. that he does have the talent, and it's a weird thing to say, but I think Kenny Pickett is one of the most important players in the NFL this season because if he's just good, if he's just 7.5 out of 10 good, then all of a sudden that team can win the division. They become super fantasy relevant because to the point earlier, they just have, they have so many players on that yeah. team who could be extremely fantasy relevant. Just a strange amount of mouths on the team. And so I think that Pickett is good. And he looked good towards the end of last season. Led those game-winning drives towards the end of the year against, I think, uh, Vegas and Baltimore. Uh, he has talent there. And if he's good, then all of a sudden the Steelers are very, very interesting, Connor. Yeah, By the way, thing you said, Jay, there could be a Mike Tomlin Coach of the Year Yeah, spot. he's like 25 to 1. Right. And they're 5-1 to one to win the I, division. I, I have said this many times. I don't understand how what people should do now is we should go back and go back and look at all whoever won coach of the year yeah. and and take those awards away and I'll give them to Mike Tomlin for every <laughs> single year. I'm, hear me out. For every single year that Antonio Brown played I for agree. Mike Tomlin. <laughs> because when you think about all the how productive he was under Mike Tomlin and no one knew the crazy. Right? I mean, like they kept it in-house. Like Mike Tomlin, whatever he did, like they kept the crazy in. And now, like, you know, it's it's a little nutty. He's, he's never won the award. Mike Tomlin's never won Which Coach of the Year. He's won the Super Bowl. He's never finished under 500. If that team goes 12-5 and five and wins the division, then he should just has win. To be it. I, I mean, it has to be it. By, by the way, I would argue that if Mike Tomlin retires today, he's a Hall of Fame coach. For and sure. he's never Absolutely. he's never won coach of the year. Yeah. I, it's, it's, it's insane it that we, people take Mike Tomlin for granted because they're like, oh, yeah, you're, they're always going to be good. It's like Belichick. Yeah. I mean, how many Coach of the Year's awards have Belichick? I think Belichick's won one. Uh, they might have two. But, but, Matt, but like the, Matt Nagy has one. Right, I mean, Mike right, Tomlin right, doesn't. Right, no, but that's Matt the thing. Like, Belichick should win it every You know, for yeah, like yeah. during the Brady year, like, Belichick should have won it every yes. year, and he never did. Like, yeah. so, unfortunately, coaches get are the victims of their own success, and you get sort of expected. We, we talked about this last year where – we both agreed Kyle Shanahan should have won Coach of the Year. Yep. Uh, like, go 6-0 and without Brock Purdy, and it was Brian Dayball, who, that was a great story, but, like, again, public perception was, oh, he took over this awful team, and, like, no, Vegas win total was seven, and he won nine games. Yep. By the way, nine games with an asterisk, because that game against the Commanders where Curtis Samuel got <laughs> mugged in the end zone, like, that should have been a loss. But the Giants somehow won that game. Because the game against the Colts, where me and Connor could have beaten Sam Ellinger and uh, what was going on in Indianapolis. Yeah, anyway, I mean, we like Brian Dayball yeah, here, no, but Dayball's Kyle Shanahan coach. should have been coach of the year last year. Hey, it's Matthew Barry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, respectfully. 
respectfully, okay? Respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.